Hi guys, I'm Franny and welcome back to my channel for another Vlogmas video. Again, today's video is not gonna be just a Vlogmas video, but it is going to be a litmus video. Since I'm up to speed, I'm going to do today's prompt, which is the big thing that I learned this year. And to me, the thing that I learned this year, more than I learned, it's not really something that I learned, it's something that I discovered about myself and that is book related and also maybe booktube related. I figured out quite a few things this year actually. The first thing that I figured out, the thing that I understood about myself, is that I thought I wanted to work in publishing, but I really don't for a number of reasons, but the thing is, I do not want to work in publishing. This is my passion, is something that I cannot give up because it means that much to me, but at the same time, it is not a job. It cannot be a job for me. And I realized that because in the last couple of years, I thought of reading as a way of studying. When I approached a new book, even before approaching it, when I had to decide what book to pick next, I wasn't choosing the book that I wanted to read because I thought I would enjoy it, because I thought I would like it. I was trying to choose the book that would make me learn something about writing, about publishing, about the process behind the book, like what made a book be published, what made a book be successful. I mean, I wasn't really reading the book while I was reading the book. I was focusing on so many other factors that I wasn't enjoying what I was reading. Like, it ruined the reading experience for me. And that led me to read way less because I associated reading with studying with homework and homework in my mind is something that is not pleasant is something that is forced upon you and it's something that i try to push away and procrastinate as much as i can so whenever i had free time i didn't spend that time reading i spent that time doing anything else watching tv shows watching movies walk outside. I don't know, but I did other things. Anything but reading. And that sucks because I wanted to read, but at the same time I didn't want to. It was very confusing, which made me realize that if publishing were to be my job, a part of my career, that would ruin reading forever for me. And I cannot let that happen. And since I figured this out, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I realized that my reading was changing because I was picking up books that I actually wanted to read. Not all books that I read were books that I actually liked, you know, that I'm going to read in the future or whatever, but I was still enjoying the reading experience. I was glad that I was reading. If I had free time, I would spend that time reading. And that was so great to go back to reading, to not care about the kind of book that I was reading and just focus on the reading itself. Because it doesn't matter what you read as long as you read what you like and what you want to read. That is the point, that is the thing that I learned and my life has changed now. I could have read so many more books this year and the previous year and the year before that and I didn't because I'm a moron and thank god that things have changed now. I don't know what I'll do in the future which, you know, anxiety, pretty high, but at least I can enjoy reading and hopefully that will lead me to read way more books in 2019 and not because you have to read a lot of books you don't you don't have to do anything when it comes to reading you have to do what you want to do what annoys me is that i had the time to do more reading and i didn't because i spent that time doing something else when i really wanted to read does that make sense 
it did at the time. It does not anymore. So yeah, hopefully I will read more books and I will be more active on booktube hopefully i will make more videos hopefully i will have more to talk about on my channel hopefully i will make more booktube friends because i love making friends on booktube so yeah this is it for this video let me know if something like that has ever happened to you or if i'm the only like crazy one that should be locked up in an asylum which it's probably true but still i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you tomorrow with another vlogmas video for hugs